It's the third year for South by Southwest EDU. Last year there were 2,500 people in attendance, this year between four and 5,000. Why the increase in attendance? It's, uh, it's really spectacular. I think it's representative of, uh, of several things and, and actually we've grown every year we've done it. The first year we had about 800 attendees and that was two or three times as many as we expected. Last year, to your point, we weren't quite at 2,500, a little over 2,000. So to have four or 5,000 this year I, I think is just a reflection of the hunger and passion folks have for really modernizing teaching and learning. Those are the conversations we're trying to host at South by Southwest EDU. Well, congratulations. I know that's a lot of hard work on your part. Uh, what are you most proud of with this year's conference so far? Oh, gosh, so many things. Um, well, certainly, I think the growth is a reflection of really great content. Uh, the way we secure content for South by Southwest EDU is there is an invitation to the community to submit programming and suggestions for sessions. We had room for 150, 200 sessions on our program. The community submitted over 800 sessions. So we had a mountain of goodness, as I referred to it, to sort through. And then we were smart enough to enlist a really diverse and large advisory board who went through each of those sessions and evaluated them and ranked them based upon their creativity and uh, the topic alignment, the quality of speakers. And so it was really their input. We're, we're fond of saying we, we're just playing host to the community's conference. Speaking of content, most of the discussions so far have centered around technology. Any plans to integrate into the interactive portion of South by Southwest? Yeah, you know, it's interesting. We have a lot of conversation about that. Um, it was important to us to really differentiate and create our own community of educators for South by Southwest EDU. South by Southwest Interactive, as you know, is a huge conference. And, and it would have been easy for South by EDU to sort of be overrun. And obviously we welcome our interactive attendees to join us, but we were really looking to build a community of education professionals, uh, entrepreneurs interested in the education vertical, legislative and policy folks with education. So we're, we're fond of saying we, we have a really hard stop at our conference because the next day South by Southwest Interactive begins and another 20, 25,000 attendees come into town for that event. Completely understandable. So do you see ways to improve or add to next year other than having American Ed TV as your sponsor? <laughs> That's great. We would love it and obviously appreciate the, uh, the media attention. Yeah, I think there is a lot that we can do uh, moving forward and we're excited about it. Uh, the advisory board, which will continue to grow with the conference, has a lot of great programming ideas. We have a lot of, a lot of individuals ask me, you know, what should, what should I go see? I'm really interested in having the community sort of help fuel that. So we've got, we got a few ideas already in mind as to what we can do. Ron Reed, executive producer of South by Southwest EDU, congratulations on the conference so far and thank you for speaking with us. Oh, thanks so much. Welcome. Appreciate it.